Welcome to our tutorial on assembly materials. Let's begin by going to the Render Manager. Now let's shift select to select all of the materials in our folder. Right click and detach. Next, let's go and set up the scene. I'm going to use a plain white background. Under Lighting Scheme, let's select Multiple, Front Left, and Overhead Directional. OK, and Apply and Close. Now let's go to the Feature Manager. Select the top housing. Let's click the Appearance button. This button used to be called Materials. Under Plastics, High Gloss, let's select Blue High Gloss Plastic and click OK. Now let's go back to the Render Manager. We'll expand the Appearance folder. Here's the top housing. The lowercase c that you see in front of the name indicates that the material was applied at the component level. Let's go back to the Feature Manager. Next, I'm going to apply material to the bottom housing, but at the part level. Let's right-click and select Open Part. Now we'll select Office Products, and let's apply material to the bottom housing. Again, the plastic folder, high gloss, and let's say red high gloss plastic. Click OK. Let's go back to the assembly. Oops, let's save it first, actually. OK, and let's go back to our assembly. And let's open the Render Manager. Even if we apply material at the part level, the material appears here at the assembly level. The lowercase letter P indicates that the material was applied at the part level. Let's return to the Feature Manager. Now we'll select the buttons. Appearance. Let's choose a rubber material. Matte. And we'll change the color of our buttons. Let's say red, for example. Click OK. Next, I'll right click on the circuit board. Open. Let's select the assembly, click Appearance, and let's select a low gloss plastic. Let's make it green low gloss plastic. Click OK. Now we'll shift select all nine buttons, click Appearance. Let's apply a low gloss plastic. Let's say black low gloss plastic. And let's click OK. Now we're going to right click on the LCD screen, open, apply material, high gloss, let's say uh, blue. Actually, let's change the color to a light green and click OK. Now let's save and let's close this window. We're going to return to the Render Manager, expand the trees. Here we see that at the assembly level we applied green plastic. The black plastic was applied at the component level, and this supersedes the assembly level. Blue plastic was applied at the part level. This also supersedes the assembly level. Now if I return to the Feature Manager, and I right click on button 1 and let's open it. Now let's return to the render manager. I don't see any materials here. File, close. Let's not save. OK, and let's save this. Yes. Now we'll return to our assembly. Window, assembly. 
Under Options, Illumination, let's uncheck Enable Indirect Illumination. This will save us some rendering time, as we learned in a previous tutorial. Click Apply and Close. Now let's render. If the bottom housing, for example, has more than one configuration, let's right-click, Open, and let's add a configuration. We'll call it 01. Let's add a second configuration, right-click, and we'll call this one 02. Click OK, and Save. Now let's return to the assembly. Yes. Now let's right click on the bottom housing. Select Component Properties. Here are our configurations 01, 02, and our default configuration. Basically, if we apply different colors, and we reviewed this concept in a previous tutorial, this is the window where we'd switch between the various configurations at the assembly level. Let's cancel out of this for now, and we'll return to the Render Manager. Here we've got red high-gloss plastic applied at the part level to the bottom housing. Even if we applied it at the part level, it populates to the assembly level. Let's change this now to the assembly level and see if the changes will appear at the part level or not. We'll double click on red high gloss plastic. Let's change it to blue high gloss plastic. Click OK. And let's render our model. And indeed, the bottom housing now is blue in color. Let's go to the feature manager. We'll right click on the bottom housing. And now back to the render manager. Open the Appearances folder. Here we have the blue plastic. Let's double click and change back to red. OK. Now we've got red gloss plastic applied to the bottom housing at the part level. File, Close, Yes. We want to save. Now we're back at the assembly level. And here is our bottom housing in red plastic gloss. We're ready to render it now. And this concludes our tutorial on assembly materials.